What up guys, how's it going? Sam Light here. Hope you guys are all doing well um, in lockdown. I'm in the UK at the moment and wanted to share with you a little 20 minute stretch slash workout to get yourself feeling mobile. This is something I've developed over the last five years. Um, as I've noticed, my posterior chain, my hamstrings, glutes, lower back gets really, really tight from all the action sports I do. Anything from wakeboarding, kite surfing, so the idea of this is a quick 20 minute hit for you guys that are stuck in your houses at home to so join along with me. But bear with me, this is the first time I'm doing it, but I'm hoping to start doing more of these. So if you like it, please consider subscribing. Um, yeah, much appreciated. But without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, we will use a foam roller at the end, um, but you can use a pillow, a water bottle, anything like this. And I'm also using a yoga mat, but you could use a towel or just the carpet's fine. So get yourselves ready guys, and we're gonna start in just a couple of minutes. But yeah, maybe get yourself a drink. It's gonna be 20 minutes long, and we're going to do about 40 seconds with each exercise, sometimes doing 20 seconds on each side. So you ready? Right, get yourselves ready. I'm gonna start on the mat while I set off my timer. I've got the exercises written down here so I don't get lost. So, first of all, we're gonna start with a plank step twist. So, what you're gonna do is come down into a plank, and then you're gonna simply step one foot up and twist towards that bent leg. Back, twist towards that front leg. Right, I'm gonna kick it off. You ready? Steady, go. This is gonna be 40 seconds, fairly quick pace. We want to get the blood moving, we want to get warm, so then we can start getting into some stretching and getting some benefit out of it. So ready, let's go. So we're in a plank, up, stretch, up. So try and keep your hips square. And then reach up. 20 more seconds, that's Halfway. Keep going. Try and push your chest towards that knee. And you feel it in your glutes and in your hips. So 10 more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, now you're gonna sit onto your knees. It's not about you, but it kind of hurts my ankle sitting on my knees. But I've been doing a lot of yoga the last couple of years and I've really found that the more I just sit on them, it breaks down that cartilage and that scar tissue. So we're gonna do just 40 seconds like this. And then for the next 20 seconds, I want you to lean back and push up with your hips. Tense your glutes, your bum muscles, and drive your hips into the air. You should be able to feel this in your quads. You know, for those of you doing a lot of squats, wakeboarding, kiting, it's a really good one. You kind of move your hips around a bit. Push up. Right, next up is a lizard pose, each side. So like before, we're starting in a plank, step up, like so, and we're gonna hold this here. You want both hands on the inside of your foot and a right angle at this leg. And we're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. So we're gonna change now, and then the other side. So 20 seconds each side. Keep going guys, follow with me. Making sure you keep that core nice and tight. Should I feel it in here, my hip flexor, it's really nice, and you can kind of roll around in it a little bit. Right, next up. We're doing a pigeon, one of my favorite stretches. We're actually gonna do 40 seconds each side. So you wanna lay your shin on the floor in front of you. Start sat upright like this, and then slowly come down onto your forearms. And you can let your head go. You really wanna let your head relax here, that's the trick. Right, now I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Now we're gonna switch sides, back into plank, bring the other foot up, and then you can walk your rear leg back, like that, I mean I've just hit the wall, which is a bit annoying, but, Let's see, come down onto your legs, 
We're going to have 20 seconds like this now. And again, you can kind of roll around. So you're feeling this in your glute, in your bum muscle. This is one I sometimes stretch for like five minutes. It's a really, really good one to help loosen up your posterior chain. Right, next up, we're going to get some heart rate up. We're going to do inchworms with a squat. So raise your arms up, fold down, keeping that nice and tight. Walk your hands out and then walk your hands back. And then raise up, fold. Hands down. And fold back up like that. Halfway. These are called inchworms. And you want to really take your time doing them. And you'll feel it in your hamstrings as you come up. So when you're folding here, keep this nice and tight. Keep your back square. And then fold at the end. Like so. Alright, once you finish this, we're going to sit into a squat, so nice wide legs. Sit into a squat, keep your heels on the ground. And you're just kind of loosening up a little bit there. Just see how you can sit, how low can you go. Really feel this in your groin. Okay, we're halfway there. We're going to do this for another 20 seconds. Next up, I'm going to turn and face you guys. We're going to do a wide leg, so you can just feel it in your groin. It's just kite hulk arms. So put your arms out to the side, and then we're going to roll everything forwards like this. Tuck your bum under and your hips, and then roll all the way up. Open my like oh, I feel it in my chest so much. Roll forwards, bend everything forwards, and then all the way back out. And again, just keep doing it at your own pace. You want to try and get at least another three in. I like taking my time going back because I really feel that you can kind of get your arms at a right angle and just pull them back. And make sure you always try and pull your shoulders down away from your, your neck and your ears. Keep your shoulders from crunching up above your head like that. Okay, what's next? Back hip circles. Okay, quick, let's get on, the, on, on your back. Night, hips at 90 degrees, legs at 90 degrees, and we're just gonna start making circles like this. And you can use your hands to pull them around. Loosening up those hips, just keeping them moving. Keep going, I'm just checking what's next. Um, so next up is the abs point toes and then okay from this position you're going to try to point your toes if this is too much you can go like that if this is still too much you can go like that so the idea with this is you're pushing your lower back into the floor you want to curl your back tuck your tailbone under and push up put your arms behind your head and drive up those legs Really feel this in your lower abdominals and your hip flexors here. We're halfway there. Really, really try and crunch, pull your head up towards your feet. As far as you can, reach. Touch your toes, can you touch your toes? I can't. Oh, keep, keep holding it, keep holding it. Tuck your tailbone under, curl your back. Okay. Next up is bridge raises. So drop your legs down, and then we're going to push our, body, our bum up like that, really tensing your glutes. You want to drive your hips up towards the sky as much as you can. You'll feel this in your lower back. Keep pushing. Don't have your hips too wide. Keep your feet about hip distance apart. Right, we're halfway through. We're going to hold this 40 seconds total. Really push up and then once you come down from this lower each vertebrae at a time nice and slowly oh, what's next okay we've got another bridge raise hold 40 seconds guys 
really tense those glutes, drive your hips up. Right, in this position, I want you to raise one leg up 90 degrees, straighten that all the way back down. Keep that bum up, other leg. You really notice if you've got one weak side at this point, aim to try and do two before the timer's out. Tough, this one. Okay, next up, a bit of a relaxing one. Back to 90 degrees, we're going to do just a twist on either side. So let your legs fall over to the side, like so, and embrace the twist. I quite like putting my arms in like a cactus shape, like this, so you really feel it open up your chest. You don't want to have your arm go above your head because that can pinch your shoulder. So we're actually going to do 40 seconds twist on each side so you can really take your time with this one and feel yourself opening up. Take a couple of big deep breaths and let it all go. You feel yourself soften up. If you've got space you can put your arm out straight to the side. I'll show you the other side. Right now we're going to switch sides so back to centre. A bit of a shuffle over here up to 90 degrees and then let your legs fall to the side like so. If your legs, if, if you're like me and you're quite tight, you can use your other arm to help pull your top leg down, but you don't want to pull on it too much. Um, it's best to have your legs together as well. So you can also use your block or foam roller and stuff, put that in between your legs like this and that will help pull both legs down together. Yeah, this is an important one. We get really stiff torsionally, so it's nice to loosen up. We're going to do 40 seconds. We've got 20 more seconds in the stretch. Again, you can see I've got my arm straight out this side. So keep stretching. I'm going to check what's next because we've only got 10 more seconds, but keep on with that stretch. Okay, we're going to go into some sun salutations now but a little bit of my own adaption. So first of all, we're gonna reach up to the sky as high as you can, fold forwards, keeping that nice and stiff, and then all the way down, and then let that head relax here, and see if you can just slowly, side to side, and then get your feet back, put your hands down, drop your right leg, back and you're going to go into lunge. Both legs are going to be at, at 90 degrees and you're going to push into that lunge. Forwards. You're going to feel this along your hip flexor. Um, and then we're going to go into a twist like so. So you're putting your elbow across, making a fist with one hand, flat hand the other hand, and reaching up to the sky, pulling your chest round. You can do this for another five seconds. Slowly come out of that, and then down into a plank. And then we're gonna slowly lower, keeping those elbows tucked in to your body, like that. And then we're going to do an up dog, just peeling your back up, bringing your head up last. Pulling those shoulders down your back and slowly drop your head down. And then push back into a downward dog. So a downward dog, you want to have your legs pretty wide, take a bend in your legs, and you want to try and push your chest through, trying to keep your back flat, you know. It's really easy to like go like that. You know, but the trick is to go like that, keeping your back flat, and you can walk out your dog like so. And then we're gonna, what are we doing next? Stick with the down dog for a second, just checking what's up next. Oh, yeah. Lunge the other way, stepping your right foot forwards, 90 degrees with both. First we're going to just push into that hip flexor at the front here. 
Oh, I'm getting warm now, getting a bit of a sweat on. Done and after you've done that for 20 seconds, you're going to go into that twist. Really trying to pull your chest through, squeeze your hips together. Right, and after we've done that, put both hands on the floor. We're going to step that back foot forwards into a forward fold. Really let your head go here. This is a really good opportunity now. We've got some blood flowing. Let your head go. And then from this position, we're going to come up into a flat back. See this, my back's flat. I should be a right angle here. I don't know if I am, but... And then from this, really focus on your lower back. Close your eyes, take a big deep breath. And fold, and you'll go a bit further. Take a few seconds here. Next, you want to take a bend in your legs. Quite a big bend. And put your arms on your shins. And now you're going to pull your head in between your legs like this. And then you're going to push out through your legs into your hamstrings. Push, keep pushing. You really feel the sensation in your lower back. This is what's stretching out your lower back. These lower back muscles pull on your hamstring muscles. So you've got to push out. A couple more seconds. And then from here, come back up into that flat back. And then all the way up to the top. And raise your arms. Next up, we're going to do a chair, which is like a B-series sun salutation. So we're going to raise your arms, feet about hip distance apart, sit into that chair. And I sort of have to think about sticking my bum out here, and raising your arms as much as you can. We're going to hold this for 20 seconds. Oh, oh feeling warm. And then from this position, we're going to fold again over your legs. Oh yeah, feeling much looser already. Another forward fold, and then come back up to the start. Next up, I'm going to face you for this one. I'm going to do a little triangle. We're going to fill this along the side of your body. So you want your feet 90 degrees slightly apart, um, and you want to be facing the side. And you want to put. We're going to do our left side first. So put your left arm around the side, reach up to the sky, like this. And you'll feel this all along here. And you want to really think about that lift. So you're reaching up, stretching out your body. Don't worry about really going low. You feel this all on your side. Reach. Right, we did well guys. We're almost there, a couple more to go. Switch sides, so pivot your feet 90 degrees. And the other side. Reach up. Reach up. Okay, next up is dolphin. Now this is one of the harder ones, but really good for hand sands, shoulder mobility and strength. Um, if you're like me, you've done all this pulling all your life, haven't done much pushing, I really struggle to lift my arms above my head. So this is a dolphin, uh, this is from a yoga move that I like, big ups to Lano Yoga, who I always go to, and this is one I got from them. So you're going to go into a tabletop position, and then you're going to drop down into your arms, and you're going to put your thumbs in your armpits, and that's going to give you the position where your hand's going to be. And then you're going to put your arms out in front of you, and you're going to make a fist, and squeeze them together like this. And it's a bit like a down dog, but we're going to have our forearms on the floor, and then you're going to tuck your toes under, and push away. So you can see I've got my knees bent um, because if I stretch my legs I'm not keeping a flat back so it's better to keep my knees bent and you can move your legs around here. We're going to try and hold this for 40 seconds so stick with it it's really tough. Make sure your head's not touching the floor and you want to push your chest through your arms like this. Push your chest back through your arms. Keep holding it if it's too much, drop down onto your knees. The biggest thing is you're pushing your shoulders away like that. You don't want to be dumping all your shoulders through the middle like this. You want to really contract your shoulders 
and bend your back there and then push away. One more. 20 seconds. Keep holding, it's a great one. And then try and stretch those legs out, straighten your legs, walk your dog out. Oh, that's tough. Right, and drop into a child's pose. Oh, we're gonna need that, so let's just let it all sit over. Rest your forehead on the floor. Take a few deep breaths. Dolphin's tough, but it's really helped my shoulder strength and mobility. Oh, and it's nice to just roll around here. Right, we're gonna do one more dolphin, guys. Ready? Back into it. This is the last tough one before our arm release and then we're chilling on our back, so let's give it some. Okay, we're gonna push up into dolphin, then we're gonna try and do some leg raises. Lift up your left leg as high as you can, put it down, lift up your right leg as high as you can, left leg as high as you can. 20 more seconds, guys. Right leg, as high as you can. Left leg, as high as you can. Pushing that chest forward. Straightening those legs. Oh, and dropping back down to your knees. And into a child's pose. Just rolling around in your hips, loosening up those hips. And that's 20 minutes right there and then exactly on the dot. But we're going to finish with one of my favourites. It's a relaxing one. It's an arm release, which is what I'm using the foam roller for. And the idea is that the foam roller sits in between your back like that. And you lay on the floor. Um, so I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. But yeah, you could use a pillow, anything really that's kind of this shape. Um, place it on like that. And you just let your arms... Lay out over it like that. Oh, that's so good. I get really bad tennis elbow, and this is one thing that really, really helps. So you've really just got to let your arms relax and drape out. And if you spend like five or ten minutes in this every night, it will massively help your tennis elbow. Make sure you don't have your arms go above your shoulders, because that's when you're going to get a shoulder impingement. It's also really nice to put your arms in a cactus shape like that that also slightly changes it into your pec muscles. So I switch from doing cactus shape to just straight out to the side. And obviously if you spend a bit of time doing this every night, you'll really see it. And then you can even t clench your fist and roll your fist around, making circles with your fist and then do it the other way. And that really changes the feeling. You can feel it all in your forearms your pecs. So just to reiterate, standing up, you don't want to raise your shoulder above, raise your arm above your shoulder, you want to keep it out to the side, making those fist circles like so. But that's it guys, that's about 25 minutes, a quick hit exercise stretch. Thanks a lot for working out with me, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already, I'm going to try and do a few of these um, and they're just going to get better and better. But Give me a feedback if there's any specific, if you want more stretching, if you want more exercise, let me know. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace out.